We are building a road to the to the overflow. There's the overflow of the dam. And uh, we had to build a, a road here through these thick, thick, thick bushes so that we can get some relief on the dam wall and work on it. But before that we have to lower this, this overflow so the water comes down here. But again I must say a, a big thank you to the Lord. This is a miracle that that dam wall did not break. This is a massive, massive dam. And the dam wall did not break. Yeah, and a donkey here he is. Donkey, donkey, donkey. Look at all the, the reed and there's so much life on this dam. Water is like the Bible. Water brings life. Water brings life. The Bible brings life. I can only know the Lord if I read the Bible, if I know the Bible. Only then can I know the Lord and can I have a relationship with the Lord. It's not going to church that brings the relationship with God. It is by reading the Bible. Praying much less. Don't pray too much. The only thing I must pray is, Lord, let me learn you better. Lord, let me learn you better. Let me understand your word, the Bible. And then read the Bible, learn the Bible. When I pray, I'm saying, Lord, now you keep quiet. I'm speaking to you when I'm praying. Say, Lord, you keep quiet, I'm speaking. But when I read the Bible, then I keep quiet. Then I keep quiet and God is speaking to me. When I read the Bible, God is speaking to me. Much more important that God speaks to me than what I speak to God. So less praying, more reading the Bible. Not more going to church, more reading the Bible. And then when you, when you have calamities in your life, because all of us will get sometimes when we're really in the big, big problems, if God doesn't come through, for, through to us. And this is a perfect example where God has come through for me. I'm going to just make a lot of video there on that dam wall to show you that there actually should be nothing holding that dam. That dam should be gone. Part of Utenek flooded. I'm going to walk over to the dam and just show you that there's actually nothing holding that dam. This is the overflow. We're gonna make it deeper. Look at this massive dam. And over four meters deep at the deepest. So this whole dam broke. This whole dam wall broke in the middle. And actually the whole dam should have been should have flooded. Utenaik. There's a few meters crater down here. Because down here is quite a few meters high. Because this is a very deep dam. Look at this. There's no reason why this whole dam should not have emptied. Look down there. That's many, many meters down there. What is holding this dam? Nothing. You can hear all this water running above that back actor working. This is how much water has come over here. Look at this massive crater it made. Look how high that is. This is when I, when God comes in for us. When Lord, when the when when the Lord helps us in our need. This whole dam should have, this whole thing should have broken here. Why is this still here? It shouldn't be here. God protected us. God protected us because He loves me. Because I love Him. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at all the water running down there. And it's not breaking. It's not breaking. Here a buyer by a donkey. Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your unfor 
for your for your Lord thank you for your love for the liefde here the onvoorwaardelike liefde baie baie dankie vir die liefde here dankie vir water here here ek bid dat hierdie dam vir hierdie boere sal lewe bring here soos u woord vir ons lewe bring as your word gives life lord that this dam will bring life to all these farmers here baie baie dankie here baie baie dankie baie vir die on voorwaardelike liefde en hier soos uit die naag, daar is uit die naag dit is kunnen flood het Jutenek a part of Jutenek, daar is Jutenek en hy het te bonen jo, heren baie baie dankie baie 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 dankie heren, baie baie dankie baie baie dankie baie baie dankie heren, baie baie dankie Bye bye, donkey.